So welcome back, this is the goldenbride.net website. You can see you've got some ladies currently online. Willing to win your hearts. That's fantastic, that's great. All these people are here online, ready to seduce men with lots of money to give away. Now is the site legit? As it promises it is, I do not know. But I would say no. It'd be great to hear what their business ethics is and mythology and why they charge such a high fee to people for the services that they offer and it'd be nice to have a bit of transparency because I believe it's all lies so here we have again their anti-scam and they are trying to fight this dirty scamming business with a photo stolen from this girl with a fake face or a real face pasted on her body they're trying to fight it so they put her on the front page of the website so yes it's not really fighting is it anyway we'll look at some of the reviews so this review here i think is potentially a fake review it's probably an affiliate marketer trying to promote j4 date which i think is jump for love but yeah he's trying to promote that this is Golden Bride's YouTube, which hasn't been updated in 11 months. Could be a warning sign, could not. Maybe it's not their priority in how they advertise. Now, Trustpilot is a very, obviously, trustworthy place to get reviews. People can fake them, obviously. Um, but it's becoming harder to do so, I believe. So, on the 13th of March, 2023, we have a review here from Mr. Johannes de Klerk from Great Britain. And he's put, like all so-called dating sites that work on a scheme of credits or coins that you have to buy, it's a total scam designed to help you dispose of large amounts of money in a very quick time. I first registered for two weeks only with my name in the profile, nothing else, which is what I showed you in previous videos. No photo and no other information about myself or what I am looking for. I received literally hundreds of letters. Now this is obviously automated bots that are pumping out the initial letters, introduction letters. I don't believe it's the agency translators doing that. Sometimes it could be, a, like you say, there's agency workers and translators that work for goldenbride.net and they will be pumping out the first initial introduction messages. But I believe it's probably an automated system the initial ones at first just pumping them out um, and the live chats come out super super fast as well as soon as you join you get in live chat messages which never happens on any legit site I then decided to fill with my profile with information and a photo of and a photo or two I again received hundreds of letters and invitations to chat online you can read letters for free but have to pay to reply subsequent correspondence needed to be paid for reading and replying to the letters there are a few sites that work on exactly the same principles or variations of the same thing. There's Golden Bride, Simply Dating, Jump for Love, and Unite Heart, to name but a few of all of them. All of them either helping you to supposedly find a Ukrainian, Russian, or Slavic bride of your dreams, or as far from the truth as can be. The only thing that matters is the colour of your money and how gullible you are by believing all the rubbish they publish. You can reverse check photos of the women and we'll find that a lot of them are registered on the sites that I have mentioned. Some of them are even well-known celebrities or actresses in their own countries. So much for the claims of verified women, it's all just a lie. Rather look for trusted sites where you pay for your subscription for either a month or two or a year, um, and sites that have been long established with a proven track record. I mean, there aren't many out there like that in this niche. Um, there are a couple that I'm still researching for their integrity in that. Um, but yeah, this would be one called Russian Cupid. That was a monthly service, no extra fees. But they've changed the name to, you think, Euro Cupid now. And Ukraine Date is also under the same family tree. People that do uh, Russian Cupid and stuff. Monthly fee, no extra fees, and you can say what you want. Your messages are not filtered. And you don't have to pay to get someone's mobile number and email. So, we've got here Joe Neptune, 
Or is there a reply? Oh, actually, they did reply, yeah, so uh, we can do replies as well. So they've put, um, hello, thank you for your feedback. It's important to us by registering on our site. Each user is notified that communication on the site is paid and accepting the conditions, he continues to register his profile. No one can replenish the balance of your profile instead of you, which means that you do it voluntarily and independently. We hope you find what you're looking for. Best regards, Golden Prize. So they're pretty much saying it's not our fault if you spend money, which it isn't, but they are they are enforcing that and they're targeting certain people so this person here in 23 March Joe Neptune has said it's a scam he's put have been using this site for several weeks there are women here from Ukraine and South America they are real hmm again as I've shown you in previous videos I've already shown you that a lot of them aren't real and they're using photo editing softwares to place faces on other people's bodies. Um, however, their intentions are questionable. They will chat with you on site and exchange very explicit photos. The chat can also be hot. However, if you want to get closer, the method is to buy them a gift offered by the site. Again, like we said, the gift either goes to them or it gets converted into coins and currency and then sent to them so they never receive the gift. You can include your private email address with the gift in hopes they will use it and go beyond the website chat. So you've got to spend that money to send the gift to get an email. Um, email. Yeah, 2023. Women speak by email. Um, maybe for a short time, but then the private address is forgotten and they say they want to continue using the site for various suspect reasons. Those reasons are that they are getting paid by the site and have no interest in meeting you or going any further than a cyberspace relationship. Good luck, it's all I can say. Um, save your money, you'll be glad you did. And again, yeah, so they stay on the site because that's where they get paid. They might be paid a contract to try and maintain a bit of the external communication to keep the trustworthiness of the site so you do come back in the future. Um, but after a while, that will soon, soon try up. And again, if a girl likes a guy, she will speak to him as much as she possibly can. And that's, it's just a fact. If a girl likes you, you will know she likes you. They will be texting you and calling you. I know this from experience. And any guy that is good with girls in his life will tell you that he has girls messaging him, calling him, arranging stuff. You know, if a girl's not interested, you will not hear from her at all. She has too many options. And the same for these. You know, if they really like you, they will be giving you phone numbers and they will be wanting to meet and talk. But they don't, because it's not real. And God, Golden Bride has said, Hello, thank you for your feedback. It's important to us. The relationship between a couple is their own business and no one has influence on it. The lady is not ready for the next stage of the relationship and then we cannot force her as we are the third extra stranger. Actually, they're the fourth stranger in this just the place where you met we are very sorry that you experience was unsuccessful but do not immediately jump to conclusions we hope you find what you're looking for call and bride that's what they're saying is which is true but like you can't you can speak to someone on a dating site and you might like them but they don't like you and that's actually fine that's normal you know the issue with this site is that when you join everyone likes you and they like you as long as you're paying that once you like them and you want to increase the engagement they stop because they can't go any further because the business model doesn't work that way um, Golden Bride are the fourth person rather than the third because you have the male, the female you have the agency that work and take the money and do the correspondence hiring chatters and doing all these sort of administration or stuff and then there's this company that also acts as kind of like an affiliate between the agency and the purchaser so this is what golden buyers are doing with their with their system we then have goldie and this is in january 23 he's put one star total scam most are paid through agency total scam most are paid notice when they speak of the women they say they will I don't understand what he said there. Let's try and read that again. Total scam. Most are paid. Notice when they speak of the women, they say they will contact the woman's agency. This is because the sites say they do not pay their validated members, and they don't. They pay an agency that pays the women you are chatting with. 
I know for a fact because I kind of I got kind of close with one and she told me she was in a six month contract she got a computer yes he sent her gifts and they could exchange contact information and off site communication she, she told him this he kept asking her if you want me to if you want me so much why are you still going back to the site to communicate this is when she said please don't say anything but I'm under contract so the fake reviews you see are just that fake so yeah and again they replied saying sorry for your experience we hope you will meet your love that's it so it's not even like a, a reply to what you said it wasn't even denying that you know it just didn't acknowledge it that there was one person I know on that site who I actually got to know in real world as well I was on a live streaming platform where I was performing music and that person who was on the site was also on that platform and I asked them if they were on that site and they told me they had never been on it so again more proof more proof but he's right in what he's saying when he says like probably short term contracts they get the money and they bounce off it's very hard to hold some people hold communication for years and years like you see four to five years but an average is probably three months before the person gets tired and decides to move on to another person that's hired that's the sad the sad thing big money big, big money so this person here Harold in January put um, fake fraud expensive scam and sad so he joined it five months ago spent probably ten thousand dollars in fees and gifts and no results now yes it is my fault he says for spending that but I am and was desperately lonely widower and he wanted a Slavic beauty bottom line the owner operators have taken a fake correspondence and hired photos the fees are insane four dollars to open a letter and four dollars to reply it doesn't take long to rip you off good conversations reach a let's meet point but she doesn't have travel documentation so yeah every tall woman is gorgeous from a war torn country she wants a new life and all this sort of stuff you see this a lot they all the men are ourselves they can't find a nice man they want an older man because they're more reliable and trustworthy such and so forth all rubbish all rubbish you know, we know there's good and bad in all countries and pretty 20 year olds don't want a 75 80 year old man the very rare ones maybe less than one percent may consider that if they think they can get some money in the long term but no generally people girls don't fancy 80 year old men um so yeah it's expensive to pay the money as well yeah you got the dating fees where they say like the imd not imdb but the imbra where it's called the hundred pound marriage fee it's in america you have to pay that again it's another way of exporting a little bit more money um yeah it's insane it's insane but like i say you eight dollars each time it's madness you know they've all got phones they could all speak a lot of them speak english as well and they do say well you're paying for the translation services but nowadays you know google translate and a lot of these translation apps now are so good you know you can correspond pretty well i've got a friend from brazil and i can speak tiny bits of portuguese she can speak tiny bits of english but we use translate a lot and we were able to have full conversations through text through telegram using the translation app that would translate within the text message now for you you know so when i say they need professional translators and all that stuff it's it's rubbish not that I want to see translation, people do translations, translators lose their jobs, but for this sort of thing, it's not needed. To this guy here, Marshall Mailing, again, $500, got sent two numbers. So I spent $500, sent two numbers, got zero reply, just site letters, all great looking women, just a money maker, buy everywhere I stopped, plus constant harassment with irrelevant why from site, that, that means after 10 explanations i gave up no refund now they will not cancel membership plus keep giving me unusable token codes 
those who think it's great sight good luck I hate to say told you so in the end 46 letters on the site from the same woman who have my personal information to date still not blocked them after I complained not quite sure what that was about um, fake 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 another site with the same women as every Ukrainian Russian dating site videos are pre-recorded women lie every time you chat with them they do not remember what you chatted about the day before I like to ask the same questions each day to see that I get a different answer every day it's funny this is just a crap site do not waste your money no one on this site can verify anything um, Dev said hello thank you for your feedback we would be grateful if you could provide proof of your words to our site support um, don't know where he said that screenshots an ID lady so they're asking like can you prove to us that this was the case but we know this is true I have tested what he said asking questions and you get two different answers um, an interesting thing to look for as well which you can test is watch how people sign off the messages I mean don't join this site anyway but when they sign off messages I have seen one person particularly sign off messages with the same name completely different every time so it was Kate Katie Katia Catalina um, Katy, Katia there was all these different there's about six or seven variations of saying the same name you just don't do that you know I don't say my name five different ways each time in the message so again, it's because agencies and all that stuff are writing the name how they perceive it to be interpreted and they're not writing it the same way. Some wrote it in English, some wrote it in the Ukrainian phonetic, so it was spelt with English letters, but it was phonetically spelt different, like K-A-T-Y-A, K-A-T-I-A, you know, some put Kate some put KT is so many variations Chris he's put I've been negative before about the total lack of support here but once again there's a new process that could be a scam I finally found a good woman and we agreed to leave the service together and communicate with normal emails for this privilege I paid $135 for a dozen roses which enabled me to attach a short note with my email address email address for $135 it's insane um, now five days later the lady says she has not received the flowers or my note he's put okay there's a war on which there is um, so why not call text or email the lady immediately with the critical information even if the flower delivery is delayed you've perceived nothing um, avoid 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 lots of fake profiles before filling out my profile including pictures I've received over 100 letters, not messages, in under a 12 hour period. But even funny, not even funny, not being funny, even if I was a Brad Pitt lookalike, I still would not receive that amount of messages from normal paying women, not in a million years. They are paid whores <laughs> who get money for every message you send them. I have had to threatening letters off people on this site saying they want to kill my family and wish cancer on us and rape my seven and eight year old children okay absolutely disgusting please 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 stay away from this site it's a complete scam um well they acknowledge this message i mean it's disgusting if that's true um again we don't know what the outcome is it would be nice if we could um get in touch with some of these people and find out the stories a little bit more again no, I'm not going through this to try and name and shame companies and people and stuff but if you're doing something you know dodgy or not legal or unethical and things like that it should be spoken about it should be shared and then if there's nothing to hide you should openly be able to speak to people about it and from what I've seen from their site it doesn't fit within the ethical criteria it's very much about getting as much money that you can out of people as fast as possible it doesn't seem to have the intention of helping you find love or romance and stuff like that which you would guess with the name bride 
would be the main purpose and if you're charging over a hundred dollars to get an email address which you know anyone can just create multiple email addresses just for the dating profile so which is what they do um, they'll create an email just for the agency and site so they log into that reply to the emails when they get them once once a day maybe once every other day but it's not their personal email and again if a girl likes you she's not going to want to speak by email there is no way the positive reviews for this site are real this is strictly an elaborate scam to milk you for all they can get from you they are using the situation in ukraine to f to their fullest advantage to scam people so this is obviously about the war saying they're um, manipulating the situation so your yeah, golden brides are working with agencies from Ukraine. Their reply is, thanks to your feedback, our website after February 24th is impossible to register with Russian and Belarusian citizenship. We also made it possible to help the armed forces of Ukraine. This is an absolutely voluntary donation and if a man wants to help his beloved girl, he can order a gift money certificate for her. We continue to carry out delivery on the territory of Ukraine. If the lady gets in touch with us, unfortunately a small part of our Golden Bride team continue to work from Ukraine during the war and we are proud of them that in this difficult time they are doing everything to ensure that the site continues to work for you. Best regards. So, I mean, when you look at the women on the sites as well, all of them, you'll see the same girl or girls, women on all the sites. So, they haven't personally signed up to each individual site. I mean, just imagine yourself doing that, it's a lot of time and effort. So, someone is signing them up for them be it these agencies that are joining all these sites so all these sites are acting as a fourth party I guess third party linking up then to the agencies within the country who are then communicating with the women so they will have hired women which they know will pull the punters in normally on the front pages of the websites that probably aren't real and then they'll have some real women buried in there somewhere who are probably not that attractive compared to the others uh, so this one says stay away from user ID and there's the ID so interesting um, she's on multiple dating sites chatting it up and sharing the cams pretty close to 8 to 10 hours a day I was in communication with her on another dating site she pretty much lied to me about being on other dating sites she told me that she only communicated with me but that was pretty much a lie. She's on the following sites. Larda Date, Bridge of Love, Dream Singles, Victoria Brides, Charm Date and various other dating sites. Steer clear of this lady. She will break your heart and enter your wallet with a bunch of chats full of lies and letters full of lies. Um, so they said we check the identity to make sure the lady is single, divorced, which means she's looking for a mate. But to limit her search, we have no right. So, Golden Brides have actually said, no, we can't help, and we won't limit her search. Because they can't. No. She's probably making them a lot of money if she's doing 10 to 12 hours a day on that site. Uh, a phony answer provided to my January 25. The answer provided by administration to my January 25 negative review is not accurate. Yes, on the login page there is a contact us link seen. If you try to go there, it takes you to another screen which says if you are registered for the site, you must be logged in to send messages. But you have to go to another screen to log in. And that screen does not have a contact us link. It really doesn't matter because I have made multiple complaints over 18 plus months and have never received an adjustment credit or any satisfaction. Latest episode I paid $40 yesterday was mysteriously linked to an unwanted video chat which cost me $6.00 or 15% wasted before I could close out. Call me stupid but I only paid again to try to connect with one lovely lady. Uh, what we got here? If you spend six dollars on the video chat with the lady this means that the duration of the conversation was almost 15 minutes. You are free in your choice of lady and you'll manage your own funds. We are sorry that you are not satisfied but we're just a platform for dating and communication. Uh, Again, it's just they are a third party platform and they're probably getting affiliate commissions somehow. I'm not sure what the structure is, whether they obviously they're getting paid to the site and then somehow that money then gets filtered through. 
Um, but again, uh, they say they verify all the, I mean, but again, fake photo, Photoshop, that person is this person. So we know they're not verifying. We know that for a fact, because there's proof there. This girl is verified tipped, and she is number one on their page, or number two, she's on the front page of the blog in the site, and she's also in the blog pages as well. So we know they're not verifying, it's not real. Um, Another person, Andrew Doctor, sites to help with scan. A few dating sites, but this Golden Bride is by far the best looking women. The problem is they're not the ones writing to you. Agents write you their introduction letters. I have a blank profile, shows just my name, yet I get over 25 letters a day. Many say how much they like my photos. There are no photos in my profile. The faces they use, they buy from other agencies. A few that I saw I had met personally on other sites. These women say they don't know this site and never even registered. It's a scam. Other sites sell the profiles to this site and they share the money we spend. Total thieves. Again, um, they're saying within the letters and text they try to attract your attention because everyone knows how much more they can write to you and everyone is beautiful. We prepare a portfolio for each girl. We hope you will meet your love. Da -da -da. Um, and we'll not be so hasty with conclusions. You know, it's, it's profiles using porn star photos. Yeah, we see that. I mean, again, using that. I think she might be an adult model and using her, face, her body with another face. So, again, fake sight. Giving one star is too high. I mean, yeah, it may be possible, I don't know how, if I can write. Can you reply to messages? No, you can't. So that's a shame. It'd be nice to be able to um, message some of these people and find out the stories behind it. The site is a fraud, the profiles of women who are able to take your money. Most use looped videos. I've seen that. Looped videos is one. Um, Kelly from Columbia started stated that her phone was recently stolen. Yeah. I've seen one where a woman said she was attacked with knives. Um, but actually through some research, looking into it, I found that she works as an escort. Um, apparently she has AIDS and she works for like a, an agency of prostitutes. And she was on the site for a while as well. And yeah, she was found by a private investigator. Totally fraudulent site. Again, you can read all these. I mean, I wasn't going to go through all of them, but it's, there's a lot in there. It's all the same thing, just taking their money. Number one, she's a scammer. One known scam is Anna. Profile on Jay Farrell. I was actually chatting with both girls on video. So, again, to prove how fake it is he was talking to that girl on the one on this site and then talking to the same girl on jump for love at the same time um both on video so unless the videos were absolutely in sync so yeah again they said they're looking into it but you've already seen that they won't do nothing about it this person was about to join but read the reviews. Customer service is terrible. They don't refund. Uh, I mean, $80 in three days. You can see how much money it is. If he's doing $80 every three days, I mean, it's $160 a week, roughly. A bit more. But six, seven hundred pounds a month, dollars a month, if he carried on that. What dating sites would charge for that a month? You know the highest end Tinder ones. You know it's less than fifty dollars, fifty pounds, fifty dollars, fifty pounds, whatever it is. Um, I think Ukraine date and Russian Cupid and all them places. I think they go up to about ninety, maybe hundred a month. But again, they are unlimited, and then they haven't got all the restrictions. And I mean, he's paying seven hundred dollars a month, and he's still not allowed to ask for our details. And anything 
in relation to that or social medias and that the software will block it out um, an interesting thing as well previously in time I was obviously on these like years ago uh, when I was younger and I started getting some Russian <laughs> Russian views on my on my Spotify and on my music um, YouTube part of random people from Russia just turning up suddenly out of the blue which I'd never had before but on the dating side obviously shared YouTube links because people would ask oh I'd like to hear your music and a couple of people end up listening to my music uh, and some people came to my music site and left comments and stuff and saw their profiles never seen these people before in my life but they worked as translators and I kind of think that they were doing the translation service and all that stuff and they were doing the agency work talking and they decided to listen to my music through the conversations and actually thought, oh, I quite like that and then actually started listening but it's just another reason to show that it wasn't the actual person I thought I was talking to years and years and years ago um, so we spent $80 over the last three days $4 a pop for emails and or chats tried to reach out to several, all gorgeous and supposedly marriage minded, he settled on one and after several communications it became clear there was no real forward movement, in short how can a woman who appears better than a movie star be that lonely uh, there should be one legitimate site for a man seeking a gorgeous but truly sincere relationship, most of them have affairs so sort of avatar of a millionaire's wife claiming I'm just an ordinary lady who happens to be beautiful, true I'm looking for a woman much younger than myself as my preference, being spoiled I guess so yeah there is like uh, very close some of the men that join these sites are kind of wanting to be sugar daddies you know they're like 60s 50s maybe 70s with a bit of money to spare the websites know that and milk it they like the sugar, the sugar daddy vibes having a younger woman um, they get lost in the delusion that the woman calls them handsome they believe it when the women just want the money they have no intention of dating them a lot of the women are married um, or a boyfriend and stuff but the money gives them a better life but they have no intention of ever leaving their partners but they say Gold and Bride are saying they actually organise photo shoots for them whether it's true or not I don't know there's another site what I'll do is I'll put the links to these in the video so you can just read the reviews yourself rather than me going through every single one um, this person is saying saying good You've got 35 five star reviews now this one is saying a revenue generator we've got here um, any male profiles will receive sources of letters scores of letters and chat messages even if the profile has no photos 100% true um, you can create a profile and have nothing on it and you'll be bombarded with letters and live chats telling you that your profile is amazing your photos are great and you're gorgeous um, so we got there first there was Regina this lady I know and I've met in person but on this site she does not know me odd very odd then there was I forgot her name this close to me asked me to visit her many times and before I leave there was a problem can't go then this sweet fake thing Miss Anna set a date she wanted to meet me then the day before we meet something happened can't meet then the second date she said to me I can go and she has bad news that was just no surprise it's all a scam. Mm -hmm. This person has made several wonderful friends. Uh, again, that's probably not a real review. We spend a lot of money if you're talking to loads of them. Nothing's going to come from that. People don't join that site just to make random friends. Unless you're very lonely and you like the idea of talking to someone pretty. Um, this person is mentioned and a state uh, date and jump for love and that means it's probably written by golden brides um, or an affiliate person promoting them there's no link but you know they're talking about competitors straight away um, again scammers using pretty people's pictures he spent over two thousand dollars and got nothing i mean just because you spend loads of money on a dating site doesn't mean you're entitled to get something 
you know, you might just have a really bad personality. On a normal site, this is what I'm talking about as well. These days, you're never gonna get nothing on these sites. And if you're super rich, you might get sort of the sugar daddy escort vibe thing happening. Um, but yeah, fake girls, porn fellows. I've seen that. Oh, there's a picture of it. What's this? And there we go. So, is that example? He's actually put a photo there. Can't zoom in too much, but they are naughty pictures. And there's the thing do you like to eat grapes? He's getting tons of messages. He's getting the, the dodgy photos. I can't close this down. The website was stealing. Oh, was stealing her photos from Instagram. Right, this is interesting. Adding porn photos and sending them to men trying to force them to buy presents and pay money. I've never been chatting with any man, but the website must be making good money from stupid men with my Instagram photos and fake porn photos. It's interesting. It's actually seen a woman on there, and they've put um, thanks for your feedback, dear oh God. Do not mislead other people who are really looking for and finding their love. You yourself recorded a registration video in which you asked to register you on our website and provide the identity documents yourself. You are acting very dishonestly. If you want to delete your profile for any reason, just write to us about it. Best regards. Again, that's a good answer. We don't know if it's true or not, do we? Um, and again, it's all bad. It's all fake. Um, quite a big thing to say there. Local agency plugs into the noted sign, uses the profiles to rip off men who think they are actually communicating with the ladies. Um, I don't think, and I don't know yet, I'm looking to see if anyone can disprove this, but anything that is pay per letter, it's a very primitive way of making money online, and it still works because there's still people over 50 that think that's a normal procedure of um, having a translation done, you know, by a person-to-person -person communication, and they have someone in the middle who translates, and it seems normal to them. It seems like a legitimate thing, but really, you know, it's not needed. You don't need any of that stuff anymore. Um, so this still targets a lot of the older generation who will believe all this stuff and get lost, lost in the fantasy and delusion of pretty girls talking to them. But yeah, so there's more links here. Um, Albert K. Like flies, you are attacked every second with Mal while well, they do not know who they are writing, even if your profile picture is a rat. Men, I want to warn you about a Katarina. So this is a Katarina. You're on the site. So, this lady promises you everything and lies everything but does not deliver. She promises to fly to you on a date and then you stand there on the airport. The red roses without anyone coming and then lying there with all kinds of excuses why it didn't go through. Um, it's really sad. Um, it's really sad. Previously it was still possible to give her an email address to send a photocopy on my profile. Now this is no longer possible because I've notified the organisation and they have blocked it. Didn't even get a thank you for this solution. Also made known the scam of the profile, who has broken the rules from Golden and Bride. The feedback from Golden and Bride was deep disappointing. Men answer always to me as if they had not understood. I have requested this profile to be removed from the dating site. Unfortunately, I have concluded that they are holding her hand above her head, so they don't want to remove a bad apple compared to the other 3,000 girls. Um, so the conclusion she works for them. So yeah, there's a lot of things. It's good when you see the photos and stuff. Um, What's this here? Oh, this person's so good, he loves that this feature is sweet or hot, it's completely free, it helps to find potential matches. It offers you nothing, that feature. It's a bit like swipe right, swipe left, hot or not. Um, all it does is it opens up probably some kind of algorithm to let them know what kind of person you like and who, who can target you with um, direct messages. So again, messages get deleted. Really bad. Um, so yeah, but I'll leave it there. Well, it's a really long video. It's be better as a live stream, I think. 
But you can see it's just scam, 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 pages after pages of why it's a scam. There are some positives. If you look at your trust pilot, 3.7, I think a lot of them are fake. There's one with you and reviews the IO. And obviously the site Jabra has got its own review system as well. I can't really say any more on the subject, but the reviews for this site seem to back up what we're saying. It doesn't back up their anti scam policy. And like I said again, it's not a real photo. That's the real photo. The real person. And that is someone else. I don't know who. But it's fake. It's fake. So that is it. That is it. Hope you're enjoying these videos as we called out the scammers and the websites that are deceiving people. Try and be vigilant, try and learn, try and keep yeah, learning about how the scams work because they're always changing, they're always evolving. And check out the links to the software out there called Social Catfish. I'll put the link below where you can use an all-in-one solution to start finding out whether these people are real or not. So after a couple of chats, you can really find out if they're true or not. I can help you out straight away by saying if you join this site, you're going to spend thousands of pounds and you're going to be very, very sad because you're not going to get an outcome that you want. So this is definitely one that you should really be careful with. You know, Obviously, we have to be careful what we say because... Nowadays, you're not allowed to have an opinion, slander, and all that stuff that gets said. But that's why I say make up your own mind, read the reviews, look at the fact that these photos are not real. They're photoshopped, pretend to be that person, but they're saying it is real. You know, don't fall for the, the scams, you know. Be careful, it's a lot of money you'll be using. Yeah, so just keep coming back to the site. I'll be showing you more and more websites that are doing a similar thing so you can sort of have a list of ones to be careful of. And if there are anything that sort of shows a bit of legitimacy and trust, you still have scammers on the site trying to do stuff. But let's try and make it a bit easier for you by removing the initial sites that are pure scams and maybe find sites that are genuine, trustworthy, worldwide known, and then you can learn more about how to avoid the scammers that then <laughs> leak around those sites as well. So yeah, please like and subscribe and we'll get some more scam videos out very soon. Stay safe.